Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and this video is coming to you live from the Compact Organic Studio. The Compact Organic Studio. Thank you, Mark. And today I want to talk about my collection. <coughs> and I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you fuckers, I am so fucking over the fucking moon with my Speedmaster Man on the fucking moon. Man on the fucking moon. I love it. I love this little fucker. I love it, love it, love it. And it's got me to rethink about my collection. And what I'm thinking of doing, fuckers, I'm going to be completely honest with you. No beating around bushes. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I love my Speedy. It's given me a new zest for life. I love my Explorer 2. Mitty, mitty, mitty. I love my Jagula Culture Reverso Grand Date Horterology Black Alligator Strap. Mm, gorgeous. What I'm thinking of doing, fuckers, now this may come as a shock, but let me just put it out there. You can tell me what you think. I'm, I haven't done anything until... I'm, 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 I'm just getting this off my chest with the viewers, and if you don't like the idea, you can tell me. I'm thinking now that my credit card and personal loan debt is actually... It's all very fucking manageable. I'm thinking to myself... Why don't I add a steel dive watch? I'll talk about that in a minute. And sell off my two gold Rolexes. I've got two gold pieces. My Rolex <coughs> President, day date, 18038 with champagne dial. Just come back from a full service. And I've got an original 80s box coming for it. So it'll be perfect. Flick that fucker. Flick it. And also flick my gold Submariner 16618, which I just got the wooden box for. It. Flick the two gold pieces. Buy myself a steel diver. And invest. Invest the rest of the money. That's from the... So basically, <coughs> I want to buy a cheap steel dive watch and I want to, the money from the gold sub and the money from the day date, I want to invest in the stock market in Australia. Blue chip industrials, banks, that sort of thing. ANZ, NAB, CBA, a little bit in AFI, Boral little bit into mining speculative, tap oil, some Santos, some BHP. I think I could get a nice portfolio, 30000 30 to $40,000. Plus, I'll get a margin loan. Get a margin loan. My VLR, I'll just do 50%. So I'll borrow another... Um, Borrow another uh, 30, I'll have 60,000 exposure. 60! 60K in the market. <coughs> what do you think, fuckers? I love trading. I love. I used to love share market. I used to love buying and selling stocks. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. So <coughs> that's good for my future. And what I'm thinking of doing is getting myself a cheap steel diver. Now... Let's look at the collection. So I'll get rid of the two gold pieces. I'm not wearing the gold. It's too precious. It's too valuable. And I don't like fucking people off anymore. So I got my three steel stunners. My Jagula Cultra, my Explorer 2, and my speedy, speedy, speedy fuckers. And what I'm thinking of doing is, I'm thinking of adding a steel diver, a low price diver. And I, I was talking to a few friends the other day and I was saying, what should I get? Because a no-date Submariner, they're expensive. You're going to be looking at six Aussie minimum. I'd really like a 
No, uh, so I'd really like a, a no, no Cyclops Sea Dweller Pre Ceramic. I'd love to get one of those, but they're, they're not really. You're going to be looking at eight, eight thousand bucks. A lot of money for a fucking for a diver. And I'm thinking, great bang per buck. Great bang per buck might be a um, a Tudor Black Bay Heritage, or a um, a Brightling Steelfish Super Ocean Heritage. So I've got a few, I've got a few ideas up my sleeve there, and uh, I'm thinking if I have, I've got three pieces, three different brands: Omega, Rolex, and Jagula Culture. I want to add a fourth brand. I don't want to have double ups. If I was going to have double ups, it'd have to be Rolex. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking brightly. <laughs> I know it's a fucking ETA movement, but. They're amazing bang per buck. Uh, I was thinking... I don't want another Amiga. Don't want another Amiga. Uh, maybe a, Ro a Rolex is just so ex fucking expensive. They're so dear. So, fuckers, I want to hear from you. Maybe Cheap Squid. Hello, Cheap Squid. Cheap Squid. He gave me $20 donation. Thank you, Cheap Squid. Thank you, Cheap Squid. Maybe I'll... Uh, what does Cheap Squid have to say? That's what I'd like to know. What does Cheap Squid say? Because I'm sure... I'm sure that could be a really cool way to go. So I'd like to hear from the audience. What Cheap Diver would you get? And I had someone else who said, maybe an IWC Diver. I said, I'm not really an IWC man. So I'm just thinking out aloud. Tell me what you nasty foul fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid.
We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.